West Ham's only major activity the transfer window has to be selling Declan Rice to London rivals Arsenal for £105 million. However, it's reported that they're interested in Conor Gallagher, James Ward-Prowse, Harry Maguire and Scott McTominay. John is now for more on this West Ham ledge. Tony Cotty. Tony, morning. Tony Cotty. Morning, what a player. Morning. So, Tony, the four, the four names I mentioned there, give me two that you would like at West Ham. There's Conor Gallagher, James Ward-Prowse, Harry Maguire or Scott McTominay. Give me two. Well, I think Perry Groves touched on the report you did before, Al. I'd prefer a centre-forward, to be honest with you, because I think it's been long overdue at West Ham. Um, but, yeah, if you put me on the spot with the, the two out of four. Uh, I, personally, I think Harry Maguire would be a good signing for us at centre-half. I think he would bring sort of that experience. And he's a good player. He's lost his way a bit at United. We know that. But he could come in. He could even go straight in and be captain. We're looking for a captain as well over at West Ham, as you well know, Al. Yeah. Uh, and I possibly would go for James Ward-Prowse. I think in terms of his creation and his goals that he's going to get you I think he would be a good signing for the club but I, to be honest I would welcome all four of them but I think you're probably going to have to pay more than 100 million that we got for Declan Rice to get all four of them but at least they're the right age Tone I mean especially Gallagher and McTominay at least if you're going to replace Declan Rice at least you've got some like young midfield players who are Legs. really they're really good and they're going to be there for three or four years and I think they'll improve the squad yeah, that, they will do. No, I mean, they, as you say, they're at, they're at a good age, and you know they're the best years in front of them. I like both players, and that it's it's hard. You put me on the spot to pick two out of the four, and you mentioned the other two, but you know I would welcome them all at the club. They're all good signings. They're all British players, as we know. So I think that's where David Moyes is looking to go. I think he wants some sort of established British players. You know, I, I don't mind where the players are from, but what I do want West Ham to do is bring in players with Premier League experience. You know, they don't have the time to. You know, like with Paqueta as an example last year, towards the end of the season, amazing. But he took six months to settle in at the club, yeah. at which point West Ham were in a relegation battle. And, you know, if they don't get it right, if you lose your best player and you lose your captain, you've got to make some good signings to compensate for that. They're going to need a decent squad as well, aren't they? In numbers, proper, you know, a proper squad with Europe as well, starting so early. Yes, absolutely. But, you know, they're used to it now. They've had two seasons. It's a miracle for West Ham to have three seasons on the trot in Europe. So there's a lot of players there that have got that experience. You know, my sort of worry for the squad, if, if you like, there's a few that are just slightly getting on a bit. I think Creswell's either leaving or already left. You've got old Bonner getting on a bit. Antonio Fabianski's 37, I think, the goalkeeper. So there's some ageing players. There's other players you could question, you know, will Suchet be in the team? He's been pretty, pretty poor for the last 18 months or so. Um, and then, of course, they've got to get the youngsters into the squad out because they've just won the Youth Cup West Ham. So those players need to be a part of the future. You know, at least get four or five in the squad pushing to get into that first by team. The way, so, by the way, Tony, I'm glad you brought that up. That is a great point. West Ham winning the Youth Cup. You think of the money that's around in football now and yet West Ham can go and win it with the kids. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Mm. Yeah, it is. Yeah, right. It's an incredible achievement. It really is. And, you know, speaking to the lads at the club, you've got the likes of Kevin Keane, Kenny Brown, obviously ex teammates of mine. And they are really, really hopeful with this group of lads. You never know, Al, as we all know with a youth team, how many are going to push through, what level they'll achieve. But if you don't give them a chance, if you don't put them in the first team squad, we'll never know. Um, Mubama, for example, we were talking about centre forward. He's a young kid. He's raw. He's rough and ready. He's only 18, I think. But give him a chance, see how he can get on in the Premier League. You know, he, he might be the solution to West Ham's centre forward problem. And Tom, turning to one of your former clubs as well, Everton. Um, I'm looking at there; they've signed Dan Juma and Ashley Young. That's it. Um, Sean Dyche is obviously in f to do the job to keep them in the league this year, but he's not David Copperfield. If they don't start signing some players, they're going to be in trouble for me. Yeah, no, I agree. And, you know, Everton, I mean, Dan Juma, you mentioned, I, I think he sort of can play number nine, can play number 10 as well. Ashley Young brings the experience. Both decent signings, but, you know, is it what Everton need at the moment? I think they need a lot more than that. You know, again, they flirted with relegation desperately the last couple of seasons. And we all know in football, if you keep flirting with relegation, there's only one thing going to happen eventually. You will get relegated. And unless they can bring some players in, I do fear for my old club. Um, you know, you could argue perhaps there's a couple of teams that are coming up that may struggle in the Premier League this year. I'm thinking Sheffield United, maybe Luton. I don't, we don't know, but it's tough. They're all going to be fighting, and you know, Everton have had two dreadful seasons. They they need they need to bring players in, and they need someone like uh, Calvert Lewin to stay fit because that's been their biggest problem. They've got a good player, and he's, if he's not fit, yeah. he's no use to them. 
Tony, just one last one. He's all over the papers again today. Mbappe, surely, surely he doesn't go to Saudi. No, there's one reason to go to Saudi Al, and I don't blame you if someone's chucking a load of money at you. You go and get the money. There's a lot of players gone out there. Are they going to the best league in the world? Of course they're not. They're going out there for the money, and I don't begrudge them that. You know, it's, it's, it's absolutely ridiculous money. Good luck to the boys. But I think if you're in the prime of your career, why on earth would you want to go to Saudi Arabia? Test yourself and come to the best league in the world, which is the Premier League. Come and sign for whoever wants him. There, there will be three or four clubs that can, if not sign him, Take him on loan for a season, you know, help him because he, he he wants to go to Real Madrid. We know that. He's got a year's gap. Come and play in the Premier League. Show us how good you are, Mbappe. That's the, my challenge to him. We all think he's the world-class player. We've seen how good he is. Come and do what Erling Haaland's done and prove yourself in the Premier League. So, just give me a team then. So, it, w- it wouldn't be City, would it, with Haaland already there? Liverpool, could they afford him for a year? Could United afford him for a year? It's his salary, uh, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I think they've all got big backers out, haven't they? If you go to those, you mentioned giant clubs of English football there. Chelsea, Chelsea could afford him. You know, there's an argument perhaps Tottenham could afford it. I don't know. You know, they've all got money lurking in the background. And if you want to sign a player, all right, people are saying it's ridiculous money, but you, you're going to pay, I don't know, you might pay £50 million for his salary or whatever it might be and the loan fee for a season. But you've got some shirt sales to come back, <laughs> that's for sure. And there's lots of other things you can do to, to reimburse some of that money. And most importantly of all, you're going to get a player who's going to score. You might get your 30, 40 league goals like what Haaland did. If a club like Tottenham or Chelsea, for example, they're going to go close to winning the league if you get a player who does that. So I know it's a lot of money, but he's got to be worth the chance. Talk Sport Breakfast with Alan Brazil. Thursday and Friday morning, 6 till 10 on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.